Welcome back to everyone's playground and today we're going to be going over coding exercise 46. So this is kind of a um, add-on to methods and it's kind of trying to teach us what the this keyword is which this is probably one of the more confusing things in JavaScript. I'm still only marginally comfortable with what it is. Um, I know enough about it to find out when that's the problem but I don't always know how to fix it so just keep that in mind and I've been employed as a developer for about three and a half years so. All right, so what are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? All right, so what are we doing here? So, um, create object ten, add name, key with how and value, add egg count key with zero value, add lay an egg method um, increment egg count by one and return eggs and I see people um, miss a couple things sometimes so it specifically states string here and a lot of times if you ever see single double quotes or the the tilde you can kind of infer that it's a string. So that's a string, that's a string, and that's a string. So if you see something written with those around it when nothing else is being written like that, so like that doesn't have it around it, that doesn't have it, that doesn't have it, that does, so okay, that's probably a string. That doesn't, so that's not. So that you can kind of, um, you know, you can kind of think of it that way, so. All right, and then it even says we'll need to use this, so. Perfect. So let's take our stuff, let's jump over here, and let's get to it. So we'll do const odd, oh, <laughs> const 10. And we can, again, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, or if you guys even watched the last video, um, we'll be at 0, and we have lay an egg, and I'm not, so return egg, this is pretty straightforward. I'm not sure how we're gonna increment egg count, maybe like egg count plus plus, but it did say that we need to use the this keyword. So let's actually do this. Let's, uh, let's cancel like this and let's just see what it is. So if you're ever curious, like you'll see a lot of people ask for help and you'll be like, oh, hey, um, you know, is this, a, you know, uh, you'll ask them a question and they'll be like, oh, I think so. Don't think, no. And sometimes you're not gonna know and that's fine. But like for this instance, you know, I see people do this. And then I go, do you have access to egg count in that object? And they're like, yeah, I think so. Well, don't think, right? Cause that's, that's part of the problem is you're kind of just throwing stuff at a wall, seeing what sticks. So, all right, lay an egg. Let's see what we get. Okay, interesting. Okay, so you'll see that this is just the object. Huh, okay. Well, how would we, how would we get egg count in just like in the regular world, right? Like we would do hen dot egg count. So really, if this is the object, we should just be able to do this at egg count, right? So let's actually, let's not guess, let's console log it, let's try it. And we gotta call hand dot lay an egg. Otherwise that method won't call and we won't get to see what it is. Okay, sweet, I, I'd say we nailed that one. Okay, so let's just do this dot egg count. Uh, we got to do it by one, right? And then I kept this console log here just so we can see if it actually updates it. Oh, snap. Okay, sweet. So let's go and let's see if that passes the test. Okay, awesome. And sweet, it did. So, um, okay, so that satisfies that. Um, let's do, so remember I said that I was gonna talk about why arrow functions don't work in this context here. 
So let's do that right now. And let's just do console log that this, and we'll see what that is again. So it should be the object, right? Oh, interesting. So the reason for this, and actually, I don't even know if that's right. Well, you can see this is how infrequently I've even tried to use an arrow function in an object. The whole point of that is when you use the arrow function, the this keyword is no longer the object, it's the full entire window. And that's the big problem with arrow functions. So um, that's why I said if you know you're gonna do something, just do it like that, or even again, this is perfectly acceptable right here. So And then I think even got that. Awesome, and that's still fine. And then let's do it the other way where we just start with a empty object and then we can do hen.name, maybe Helen, hen.egg count which is zero, and then we can do hen lay egg is that what it was i forgot yeah lay on egg lay on egg and that will be a function and what do we have we have this that egg count plus plus and then we return egg. okay i think this should work i mean i'll be completely honest. i'm not sure if it's gonna but it should so let's see and we check it And that works as well. So those are the three different ways that you could tackle this one. Um, and they're all perfectly fine. The only thing that you really need to take away from this is don't use arrow functions in objects. Just do one of the two ways that I showed and you won't run into the this problem, at least not for a while until you get into more complex things. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked it. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next exercise.